to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is CBSE Class 12 Geography Sample Paper 1. Question number 1. The process of settlement involves Option A. Building houses and other structures by people. Option B. Control a specific territory. Option C. Control resource or economic support base. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. A settlement is a community where people live. Human settlement refers to the cluster or group of houses of any type or size where human beings live. The process of settlement involves building houses by people and their structures and controlling a specific territory as their resource or economic support base. Question number 2. Which branch of geography deals with the relation between physical and sociocultural environment? Option A. Physical geography. Option B. Human geography. Option C. Environmental geography. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Human geography. Human geography deals with the relationship between human and natural world, spatial distribution of human phenomena and the socio-economic differences between various regions of the world. It is a branch of geography. Question number 3. The movement of people from one place to another for a definite purpose is known as Option A. Traveling. Option B. Commuting. Option C. Migration. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Migration. People usually move from one place to another for various purposes. This movement of people for a definite purpose is known as migration. It may be temporary or permanent. Question number 4. Which among the following helps to understand the demographic characteristics of any area? Option A. Patterns of population distribution. Option B. Density. Option C. Population. Option D. Both. A. And. B. The correct answer is. Option D. Both. A. And. B. Patterns of population distribution and density help us to understand the demographic characteristics of any area. The term population distribution refers to the way people are spaced over the Earth's surface. Question number 5. Arrange the following states of India in descending order as per their population. I. Uttar Pradesh 2. Maharashtra 3. Bihar 4. West Bengal. Options. Option A. 2. 3. 4. I. Option B. I. 2. 3. 4. Option C. 4. 3. 2. I. Option D. 2. 4. I. 3. The correct answer is. Option B. I. 2. 3. 4. The correct order of the states in descending order in terms of their population is Uttar Pradesh. 19.98 crore. Maharashtra, 11.24 crore, Bihar, 10.41 crore, and West Bengal, 9.13 crore. Question number 6. Hunting and gathering is practiced mainly in which of the following regions? Option A. Amazon Basin. Option B. North USA. Option C. Tropical Sahara. Option D. Andes. The correct answer is. Option A. Amazon Basin. Hunting and gathering is practiced mainly in Amazon Basin along with Northern Canada, Northern Eurasia, Southern Chile, Tropical Africa, Northern Fringe of Australia and the interior parts of the Southeast Asia. Gathering and hunting are the oldest economic activities. These are carried out at different levels with different orientations. Question number 7. Every country has some components which are important for its functions. The component of a country is comprised of Option A. Population of a country Option B. Resources of a country Option C. Economy of a country Option D. All of these The correct answer is Option D. All of these 
a nation is based on some specific components which help to develop its economy and accelerate other functions. The components of a country are comprised of its population, resources and economy. Question number 8. Which of the following best signifies the nature of human geography? Option A. It covers all the elements created by men only. Option B. It covers all the elements created by nature only. Option C. It covers all the elements created by nature as well as men. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. It covers all the elements created by nature as well as men. It deals with the interrelationship between the physical environment and socio-cultural environment created by human beings through mutual interaction with each other. Question number 9. What is the span of time in which census is conducted in India? Option A. After every 5 years. Option B. After every 10 years. Option C. After every 11 years. Option D. After every 7 years. The correct answer is Option B. After every 10 years. The census of India is conducted after every 10 years. The decadal census of India has been conducted 15 times. As of 2011, the first census of India was conducted in 1872 under British Viceroy Lord Mayo and the first complete census was taken in 1881. Backslash. Question number 10. Which of the following best signifies the meaning of development? Option A. It is qualitative change. Option B. It is quantitative change. Option C. It is value neutral. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option A. It is qualitative change. Development refers to changes over a period of time. Development is a qualitative change which is always value positive. Development occurs when positive growth takes place. But positive growth doesn't always lead to development. Question number 11. Which of the following changes takes place when a settlement grows in its size? Option A. Social structure. Option B. Ecology. Option C. Technology. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. It is clear that when a human settlement grows in its size then its social structure, ecology and technology also changes. These affect the life of people reside in that particular settlements. Question number 12. Which of the following is the important aspect of development? Option A. Quality of life. Option B. Opportunities. Option C. Freedom. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option D. All of these. The idea that the quality of life people enjoy in a country, the opportunities they have and freedom they enjoy are important aspects of development. Question number 13. India has witnessed the waves of migrants coming to the country from which of the following places? Option A. West Asia. Option B. Central Asia. Option C. Southeast Asia. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. India has witnessed the waves of migrants coming to the country from Central and West Asia and also from Southeast Asia. Migration takes place due to many reasons like in search of employment, better living conditions, health and sanitation facilities and so on. Question number 14. Gathering is practiced in regions with which of the following types of climate? Option A. Moderate climate. Option B. Harsh climate. Option C. Temperate climate. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Harsh climate. Gathering is practiced in region with harsh climate conditions. It often involves primitive societies, who extract both plants and animals to satisfy their needs for food, shelter and clothing. Question number 15. Villages are specialized in which of the following activities? Option A. Agriculture. Option B. Animal husbandry. Option C. Mining.
Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these. Rural settlements or villages are mainly specialized in primary activities like agriculture, animal husbandry, fishing, mining, etc. These are associated with natural resources. These areas are the main source of raw material and food for urban settlements. Question number 16. Human geography is concerned with Option A. Cultures Option B. Economies Option C. Population Option D. All of these The correct answer is Option D. All of these Human geography is concerned with the cultures, economies, population, settlements, urban and rural phenomenon etc. It has greater focus on studying the human environment activities and their relation with the natural environment. Question number 17. Water is defined as which type of resources in the world? Option A. Abiotic resource. Option B. Non-renewable resource. Option C. Biotic resource. Option D. Cyclic resource. The correct answer is. Option D. Cyclic resource. Water is defined as cyclic resource in the world. Earth's water is always in movement and the natural water cycle, also known as the hydrologic cycle, describes the continuous movement of water on, above and below the surface of the earth. Water always changes its states between liquid, vapor and ice, with these processes happening in the blink of an eye and over millions of years. Question number 18. Cattle is an important animal kept by the nomads in which of the following regions? Option A. Andes Mountain. Option B. Arctic Region. Option C. Tropical Regions. Option D. Sahara Desert Region. The correct answer is. Option C. Tropical Regions. Cattle is an important animal kept by the nomads in tropical region of Africa. Cattle is considered as most important livestock in this region. Question number 19. In which of the following settlements generally houses have no space between them? Option A. Clustered settlements. Option B. Hamleted settlements. Option C. Dispersed settlements. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Clustered settlements. The clustered rural settlement is a compact or a closely built up area of houses. The houses in these settlements generally have no space between houses. The living place is distinct and separated from the surrounding farms, barns and pastures. Question number 20. Seasonal migration of herders from plains to mountains and vice versa is known as. Option A. Nomadic herding. Option B. Pastoral grazing. Option C. Transhumans. Option D. Livestock rearing. The correct answer is. Option C. Transhumans. The process of migration from plain areas to pastures on mountains during summers and again from mountain pastures to plain areas during winters is known as transhumans. They move in search of pastures, either over vast horizontal distances or vertically from one elevation to another in the mountainous regions.